Now in the last part of this question, what we've got to do is find the magnitude of the force exerted on the pulley by the string. Now we know that the string then obviously passes over the pulley and it exerts a force on it which comes through from the tensions. We know from earlier that because it's a smooth pulley the tensions are going to be exactly the same, T newtons. We found out that each of these tensions were 58.8 newtons. So just mark that in there, 58.8 newtons. Now these two tensions then are going to ex exert a force that wants to pull the pulley in towards the plane. It wants to pull the pulley in a direction that bisects the angle here because of the symmetry of the problem. This is going to come right through the middle. So we'll call that R Newtons and that's what we've got to find. Now to do this what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to think about taking a section like this. Okay, We've got one section down here and we've got a section across here. And I'm going to resolve these forces, the tensions, in this direction, the direction of R. So what I'm going to need is these angles. Well, they're going to be both exactly the same size. So we need to find them first of all. And to do that, those angles here, let's call them, let's mark that in like so. This angle here, let's call it theta, it'll be the same as this angle here, theta. And these two angles here are exactly the same as these two here, theta. So to get theta, I'm going to need to work out alpha. So Let's turn to alpha. We know that sine alpha is 3 fifths, so we can get alpha quite easily by taking the inverse sine to both sides, and we get the inverse sine of 3 fifths. And if you do that on your calculator, what you should find you get is 36.869 and so on degrees. So we've got this angle here, alpha. Now we know that all three angles must obviously add up to 180 degrees, being in the side of triangle. We know this is 90 degrees, so these two must add up to 90 degrees. So if we say that 2 theta would equal 90 degrees minus the angle alpha, so that would be 36.869 and so on degrees. Take that away and divide by 2 and what you should find that you get is that theta turns out to be 26.565 and so on degrees. So now that we've got theta what we can do is we can resolve in the direction of R. So if we resolve in the direction of R what we've got is that the resultant force on the pulley from the string is going to be R and that's going to equal the components of T in the direction of R. Well, we can see that we've got T acts at an angle and it can be split into two components, one in this direction and one in this direction. We're interested in the one in this direction it contains the angle, so therefore it's going to be 58.8 cos theta. So you've got 58.8 cos theta, or co well, we'll just leave it as cos theta. We can pick that up in a moment. Okay, that's the component of this T acting in this direction, and we've got exactly the same for this T here. The component of this T acting in this direction, because it contains the angle, is going to also be plus another 58.8 cos theta. So you've got two of those, and all you've got to do is just work that out on your calculator, and what you should find you get is 105.184 and so on. So if we round that to say three significant figures, you get 105 newtons to three significant figures. 
So there we go. There's the resultant force of the string that it is exerted on the pulley. That brings us now to the end of this question.